Like other regions in the world, South America welcomed the cryptocurrency revolution, granted the large percentage of unbanked individuals, and opportunities offered by digital assets. While most countries in the region are either neutral, or positive towards the emergence of the crypto market, some have chosen a more aggressive stance. In this article, we will conduct a case study, analyzing the situation in two countries that have positioned themselves as anti-crypto, Bolivia and Ecuador. The crypto situation in Bolivia here, the crypto market was affected by a decision announced by the El Banco Central de Bolivia, which is the nation's central bank. Back in 2014, when Bitcoin started gaining more media coverage, the central bank announced its decision to ban all currencies that were not issued or regulated by a government. The list of forbidden digital assets included Bitcoin, alongside other altcoins like Peercoin or Namecoin. The statement responsible for it even read, it is illegal to use any kind of currency that is not issued and controlled by a government or an authorized entity. The Bolivian Central Bank quickly backed its decision through a few arguments. According to them, the motivation lays in doing everything in their power to protect the country as national currency the Boliviano. Secondly, the bank stated that uncontrolled assurances can have unprecedented effects, thus causing users to lose their money. Following the announcement, members of the financial community quickly reacted, stating that the decision was unwise granted that Bolivia is one of the poorest Latin American countries. Thus, banning Bitcoin would reduce development and innovation of the fintech market there. Reports that emerged in 2017 showcase that the Bolivian government is relatively serious about imposing its ban. With this in mind, the country's Financial System Supervision Authority ASFI, reportedly arrested 60 people for promoting Bitcoin investments. According to the ASFI, he confiscated pamphlets relating to business schemes that go around giving training and making business plans regarding virtual currencies that are operating abroad. The Bolivian population should not be fooled. It should not participate in closed crypto groups through WhatsApp. The only thing they are doing is taking advantage of the population, deceiving the people to appropriate their money. Following the arrests, the ASFI reiterated its belief that digital currencies are nothing but illegal P. You can read full post on crypto funds. News, link available in text below.